Hey guys, today's video is going to be a video on the cons of owning a sugar glider. The first con is that they're nocturnal. That's why the lighting is really bad right now because they're not awake during the day. And when they do wake up at night, it's really not till later. It could be around like 8.30 or 9, maybe 9.30 when they wake up. But that depends on your sugar glider. Some wake up later than that. Some may wake up earlier. Like Gabby, she usually wakes up before Kendall. So she usually wakes up around 8, sometimes 8.30. And Kendall usually just wakes up a little bit after her. The next con is really weird because they are really adorable. They can actually be kind of intimidating to some people. I don't really find them intimidating, but some people might. Like if you don't have a lot of experience with animals or you get really scared easily by animals, then I wouldn't really recommend them just because when they crab, it can be really loud. And when they do crab, just know it's not that they're... They're not going to try to hurt you. They're just trying to threaten you to scare you off. But yeah, you have to kind of get used to that and just be like, no, I'm the boss. So that's kind of something you have to get used to. And it's a really loud noise. Really odd sounding. And another thing is my mom's kind of been like, she says they're a little bit scary just because, you know, they're like really fast and they kind of climb and jump everywhere. Another con is they're really dirty. As you can see, their bowl is really dirty. I think that's probably the hardest part is the bowl. That's probably the dirtiest. And their cage also gets pretty dirty. You have to clean it often because they poop a lot. They can also be really noisy. They make a lot of noises and sometimes they make noises at like 2 in the morning. Like they can start barking, which sounds like a little baby puppy and it's really loud. They can do that at night. They can make a lot of noises and they're, you can always hear them like climbing and playing. Luckily, I'm a deep sleeper so it doesn't really bother me and plus I have other animals in my room so that it doesn't really get on my nerves. Also, I wouldn't say that they are super noisy every night. They just bark and make a few noises occasionally so it's not something you should be too concerned about but just something you should keep in mind if you're like a really light sleeper. And they're very, very expensive. My sugar gliders cost $2.50 each and $4.50 for both of them. But they're the standard gray color and they're the cheapest ones they have. The other colors will be a lot more ex expensive. Not only does the animal cost a lot, but you also have to buy a cage and really expensive food and toys and like a lot of other things. Speaking of food, their diets can be pretty complex. You also have to make their own food. You can't like just go to the store or buy pellets because pellets are actually not very healthy for sugar gliders. There's actually a lot of controversy on that, but I don't really, I'm not for pellets. And preparing the food can take a really long time. And also there's a lot of controversy on diets and there's a lot of different diets out there. They also take a lot of time. They like to play and they need a lot of time to be around you and the bonding process may take a while depending on your sugar glider's personality. And you also should have more than one sugar glider. They also need a lot of space in a very big cage. My cage is the Critter Nation. I didn't make this video just to bash on sugar gliders and say they're terrible pets, which they're not. They just are a lot of work. And they're definitely all worth it because they are really great pets and I love them. So stay tuned for my next video. It will be much more positive. It will be the pros of owning a sugar glider. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.